Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I am back with a brand new video of Grammarly. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can download and install Grammarly on your laptop. So I'll be guiding you throughout this video. Make sure to watch this video till the end. And before getting started, also make sure to check your internet connection. And then without any further delay, let us get started. So you'll have to open up your web browser and you can use any web browser that is convenient for you. Once you open up your web browser on the search box, type in the link that is www.grammarly.com and I will also leave the link on my description box below. Once you type in the link, next page will be directed to the official site and you can see in the bottom left corner of your screen, there is an option as get Grammarly, it's free. All you need to do is click on it and once you tap on it, next interface will be directed to sign up page. So you have a various different method to sign up into a Grammarly account. So you can either sign up using a Google, Facebook or an Apple ID and also you can use the email address. Now for this video, I'm going to go with the email. So then you'll have to type in the email address that you want to link your Grammarly account with. And once you type in the email address, next interface, you'll have to create a password. And after you're done creating the password, next on the third step, you'll have to enter the name. And once you're done providing all of your personal details, tap on agree and sign up, which is right at the bottom. Now a verification email has been sent. So then you'll have to enter the verification code that will be sent through your email. You can see as soon as I open my email right on top, there is my confirmation code. So then you'll need to open the email and then copy the verification code and after you're done copying the verification code you'll have to paste the verification code right over here and in case if you haven't received the verification code then you can see right at the bottom there is an option as resend verification code so you need to tap on it once you're in this page you'll have to select either one of these options so then select it accordingly and once you select it tap on continue so once again you'll have to select up to two options so you can go through it and then select it accordingly so once again on the third interface you can either select any of these following option or you can simply tap on skip which is right at the bottom once your account has been created the next interface will be directed to something like this so what you need to do is once you're on this page just slightly scroll down and then tap on download grammarly you can see right at the bottom the application has been downloaded once it is completely downloaded you'll have to right click on your mouse and once you do that there's a drop down menu so from there tap on open now for sometimes you'll have to wait once again there's a confirmation and in case if you're sure about this email address or in case if you want to sign in with this particular email address then you'll have to tap on continue to grammarly so once again you'll have to tap on open grammarly now once you're in this page you'll have to tap on continue to grammarly it's free right at the bottom so right in center once again there's a confirmation and in case if you want to add this grammarly to your chrome browser then you'll have to tap on add to chrome it's free which is right at the bottom so once again tap on add to chrome in the top right corner now the grammarly has been added to your chrome as well as it has been activated you can see that the grammarly has been installed as well as downloaded and this is how you can download as well as install grammarly on your device so that is all for this video i hope the video was helpful make sure to like share and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching